Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are here in week number three of the Countdown Cup Overwatch League. Season number five is drawing to a close. We only have this week and one more before the regular season is done. We will then have the play-ins, playoffs, and that's it. We'll crown our grand champion for season number five of the league, who will join the likes of the Shanghai Dragons. The San Francisco Shock twice, and the London Spitfire being immortalized as one of the best teams in in the history of the league. We're going to find out, but first we're going to jump into our week number three predictions. Overwatch 2 is out. Um, hasn't quite been the launch that I'm sure Blizzard wanted. Um, am I super freaking out about this? No, the game has been really fun. You know, when I've been able to get in and play, it's been great. Obviously, you know, servers and people not get, being able to get in, disconnections are a problem, but it's a pretty frequent problem that happens when games are released. So as long as it's ironed out within the next couple of days, you know, I think it's it's okay. You know, if, if these drag on for like a week or so, you know, then it's going to be an issue. But for right now, Overwatch 2 is out and it's phenomenal. You know, I've been having a great time. You know, some of my friends who have still been playing Overwatch, you know, are obviously getting into it. And then ones that, you know, hardly ever played Overwatch or played it and then, you know, and stopped for a, a long stretch or back playing it. So it's an awesome feeling. You know, I hope you guys also are are enjoying it and, you know, and are able to, to get in, get some games in, um, you know, and, and game with your friends. Because Overwatch really is a, it's it's an amazing game when, you know, it's played with friends. I, I have been on pretty much the solo grind for the last, like, three years and it, it wears on you. There are good days, but there are also very bad days. So I hope you guys are able to, uh, you know, actually play the game a bit that the pros are on now. And, um, yeah, and I hope you're enjoying it. But, <clears throat> however, without further ado, we will get into the predictions themselves. Starting off, we got the Titanic Soul Dynasty taking on the Hanzhou Spark. So the, the Spark has... Um, the spark's been lost. You know, it's gone. The, the magic feels very much so not there anymore. And Soul looks definitively the best team in the East right now in this meta. Of course, we'll have Kiriko added uh, to the playoffs. And, you know, we'll have one more patch. So, this is not the final iteration of teams. If this was, I would pick Soul to win it all. Um, you know, slightly edging out teams like the Fuel and the Gladiators. But... They look amazing right now, and I'm going to take them 3-0 over the Spark. Again, for Huncho, it's just, they had the great first stage, you know, and they kind of fell flat in the playoffs, and then it's it's really hasn't been the same ever since. They haven't quite been able to figure it out over a variety of metas, so I got Soul taking that one down with relative ease. Next, we've got LA Valiant taking on the Charge. So, extremely important matchup here. The Valiant are the team out right now. Uh, in the east you know because remember the top three teams in the east automatically get into playoffs top uh, four through six will then play each other um, and the top team of that you know the whoever ends up as the four will also get in five and six will be eliminated number seven because there are seven teams in the east number seven is out they do not even make the play-ins um, you know they are the same as in the in the west um, you know that's the 11 uh, 12 and 13 spots so extremely important matchup. Valiant are in huge, huge trouble if they lose this match. Um, if they win it, you know they'll still be pretty darn close um, to the charge. So both of these teams have been playing well lately. You know, Valiant getting a nice victory against Philly a couple of weeks ago. The Charge have looked really strong. You know, taking um, you know taking some maps off of really good teams, winning some of their matches. You know, having Piggy in has been great. You know, him, Jimmy, and Choice A Wan have really formed an, an elite uh, group of a tank and DPS. Um, you know, and the supports the supports have been very good too. Um, you know, a little bit of a rough timeout last week. Um, you know, far away in particular was really, really getting focused. Um, but for me, the charge are a little bit of a better team right now. These are both solid teams, but I like the charge a little bit more. I'm going to take them three to one. Um, like I said, just putting piggy in, a, I feel like has really kind of energized this team. Uh, you know, Jimmy is one of the best soldiers that we have in the league. He's at great pop-off moments and Choi is always solid. So 
you know, back and forth a little bit. We've got some close maps here and there, but Charge have a little, a couple more standout players and a little bit better team chemistry for my eyes. Then you've got Spark versus Hunters for a double points matchup. This one, I'm going to take the Hunters. I'm going to take them 3-1. to one. Again, they've looked they've look solid, you know, in this meta. Um, you know, a little up and down. The East is always a region that fluctuates quite a bit. Um, but, again, it's it just hasn't quite come together for the Spark. And the Hunters, their last two stages have been the strongest for them. You know, I think they're only getting better as we go along. You know, Leaves starting to pick up the pace a lot. Um, and they, they really have a solid backline to tank combo. Um, I feel like they have they've had really solid um, peel in the last their last couple of weeks, um, you know. So while I don't see them, they're not quite towards the top. Um, I do think that they're stronger than the Spark right now, and they take that one down three to one. Shanghai Dragons against LA Valiant. So Dragons, uh, they're the shock of the um, East this you know for the last two weeks. They've, they've struggled. They've really struggled. You know, very very similar to the Shock in the West. Um, you know, pretty much looking at a must-win for the Valiant. I'm going to take the Dragons in five. Um, I still think that they're a little bit better than the Valiant. You know, they're they're a team that, to an extent, you know, they're going to figure it out. Um, you know, they're, they're in the playoffs. You know, they're locked in um, as two. So it's it really isn't super important the next few matches for them. You know, it's more, you know, getting things right, you know, making sense of this meta a bit more and locking in on it. Again, like I mentioned earlier, we are going to have a slight shift. You know, it, it, I think it's going to be a pretty substantial shift because Kiriko is really good. Um, and I expect her to be very viable um, next patch. So um, she could really really throw a wedge into the, the current meta that's kind of being played right now by teams. So a lot could change, you know, and this, again, this isn't super, super important to the Dragons, but you want to win every single match, of course. You know, you want to get the momentum rolling on your side. And I got them taking down Valiant in a very close one. Again, Valiant, whether they win or lose against the Charge, they're going to really, really need this match. So um, I expect them to come out and play very well, but in the end, Shanghai... You know, even with this being a little bit of a rough meta for them, I think they're gonna do just enough to get it done in a close five mapper. Chengdu Hunters versus Philadelphia Fusion. It's an interesting one here. You know, Philly, we've seen good, we've seen rough. You know, they're 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 in a constant constant state of flux. It feels like, and the, the Hunters are as well to an extent. Um, I'm gonna go Philly here, three to one. Again, you know, could go either way. The Hunters, again, they look solid to me, but Fusion, this feels like a good week for them. I, I think that they're going to play well. <laughs> Do we know for sure? Obviously not. But um, I think that we get some good performances out of them, particularly when they're playing some of the, like, the mid teams. Seems like against the bottom teams and the top teams, they struggle. But, like, right in the middle, which I know there there's only seven teams in the East, so there aren't, like, huge discrepancies. Um, like you see in the West, um, but I think that they play well and take a still a close victory against the Hunters, um, but a victory nonetheless. Shanghai Dragons versus Chengdu Hunters. So this is an interesting one. I'm gonna take the Hunters. I'm gonna say, yeah, we'll say three to one. Um, you know, I think we get a pop off game from them. We see some great performances. You know, whether it's Jinmu. You know, playing some of that Sombra or Leave, you know, on his various heroes. I think we're going to see some carry performances coming through. Uh, you know, Gaga has been very solid as well. Um, yeah, and it's it's as again, it's a good team from the Hunters, and I think that Shanghai, you know, coming off of a coming off of a long, rigorous map five, um, they're going to just come up a little bit short in this one. Um, and again, just the the inability to really punish teams has come up a lot for them it feels like they're not finishing fights definitively and their their calls and their comms don't seem confident for this meta um and i think against the hunters if you have to be really definitive um and in the end that's going to come up and bite the dragons um allowing the hunters to take that match and then philadelphia fusion versus salt dynasty we're going full just soul soul hype train soul just absolutely smashing 
right now. Um, they're going to be hard to stop. You know, even with a meta shift, you know, getting them momentum like this is very important. Um, and I'll probably talk about this a little more when we get to the. Actually, we won't because they don't. The shock don't have any games this week. That's right. Um, so in regards to the dragons and the shock, you know, is it over for them? Certainly not. You know, still two of the best teams in the league. You know, could they really rebound um, in the playoffs and win it all? Yes, I truly believe so. But how you finish matters. Um, I always come back to season one where New York was so utterly dominant in the first three stages. Stage four came up, new meta. That's when Brigida was introduced. Um, and they didn't, they didn't look as strong, you know, and there were so many people, you know, so, a lot of the casters, you know, and a, a bunch of the fans, you know, like it doesn't matter. You know, it's a long season, which true. It was 40 freaking matches. Uh, but honestly, I missed, I missed that. Uh, I missed the blizzard arena, but having all of these um you know mid performances you know taking some losses you know new york kind of you could say they limped in i think they still went like six and four or something in the last stage but they had been so utterly dominant i believe they were i want to say they were 28 and 2 or 27 and 3 something like that they were extremely dominant entering stage four they had a weaker stage four. Everyone's like, it doesn't matter. You know, they're resting some of their players. They're taking it easy. You know, they're scrimming less, you know, so they're fresh. What happened when they got to playoffs? They lost immediately. They got a bye, and then they lost to Valiant right away. So, sorry, they lost to uh, Philly. So, it matters. How you finish the season matters. And that's what I'm looking for, you know, out of Shanghai, out of uh, Shock, you know, all these teams, you know, Rain after their last performance, you know, Gladiators to an extent, you know, Houston, like all these teams that pretty much everyone that isn't Dallas and Seoul, because Dallas and Seoul are just crushing right now. Um, for the others, you know, we need to see some uptick, you know, some momentum, because it, it's extremely important. It really, really is. So with that being said, we'll dive into the West region. Uh, Paris versus Houston. Taking Houston in this one. I don't think there's much to say about this. Paris has one win on the season. A very close match. We, they probably shouldn't have won um, against the Excelsior, who have been the mis most disappointing team in the league, at least for me. Um, but it is what it is. I think Houston takes that one down very easily. Don't really want to talk about it too much washington justice boston uprising so this is an interesting one uh washington you know coming off of a pretty rough loss to atlanta uh, but they've looked pretty solid this stage and then boston as well you know a little bit of ups a little bit of downs but overall they've looked very solid i'm gonna go boston i think it's close i'm gonna say it goes all the way to five but i trust boston a little bit more right now um you know, they've, they've struggled, you know, when they have to go play Dallas, which it's fair. Everyone struggled against them. Um, but I like what, what, yeah, not Washington, Boston, a little more as a team. And again, I've, I've been pounding the desk for the, the punk, punk. He, he, they've been so much better when he's in and, you know, he's been in and boom, improvement pretty much immediately. So Again, we've talked about Boston a bunch, you know, very solid team. They haven't really punched up. You know, they had the upset against Houston um, a, a bit back, you know, which was really nice for them. But other than that, they can beat the middle tier teams. And Boston right now is sitting in 10th, you know, so I think a nice little boost of confidence would do them well right now. I believe Washington dropped to nine. They were they were really close with Florida, but I believe they're nine right now and Florida's eight. Um, so, you know, so these are two very closely matched teams. I think it's going to be extremely close. Washington, I trust their pop-off more, you know, their solo carry more. But Boston, I just, I trust the communication, the team cohesion a little bit more. And I think that, you know, while it could definitely go either way in the end, that cohesion and communication will win the day for Boston in a heated map five. Florida Mayhem versus Vancouver Titans. We're going to go Florida here. We haven't seen them in action in a while. I'm going to take them 3-1. to one. Again, you know, Mayhem, solid all season. Vancouver, really nice stage last time out. This stage, you know, they got an A win, but overall been a, a little bit rough. Um, you know, I, I just think that Mirror, Mirror is great on the Doom. You know, he's great on the Zarya, but, you know, Zarya is really good right now, but Doom is 
Doom is not good in this meta. You know, it's just perma hacked, perma slept, perma anti. Just kind of tough times for him. So I think that the teams that have a the teams that have a main tank who's also very good on some of the off tanks have a very very big advantage right now. And I think that someone is going to be able to exploit that. Um, and there's just there's only going to be so much Vancouver can do. Like I said, I got him taking a map because you know we've still seen some really nice performances from them. But I do like Florida in the end. Florida Mayhem back in action right away on Saturday, taking on the Atlanta Rain. So Atlanta's a head scratcher because I was ready to be like, okay, they're really good in this meta. They're really solid. They go up 2 0 on San Francisco. They're just they're pounding them. And then they get reverse swept. And it's like, okay, what's going on? And then they come up the next day and they 3 0 Washington. And they look really good. So, you know, and they look really good in their first two matches. So we're going to see a true litmus test for them when they play Dallas the next day. Um, but for now, I trust them to beat Florida. You know, I, again, I, you know, everyone's Florida Midham, Florida Midham, you know, is what it is. They're a good team. You know, they're a good team in the Overwatch League. But we've seen them not being able to beat some of these upper tier teams. And I do believe Atlanta is an upper tier team. You know, it's, I think you can pretty much have them as probably second or third right now in the West, depending how you feel about Gladiators. Gladiators just went to map five with New York, though. So they're on the fritz. You know, Shock have won one, have won one match this stage. Houston have just looked decent, you know, this, this stage. And then, like, really, who is there left after that? You know, it's your Washington, your Boston, your, your Florida. So Atlanta, they're a top three team easily in the West. So I think that they take care of the Florida mayhem, and we're going to see what's going on with them truly against Dallas. You know, Kyle looks really solid in this meta. Um, you know, we've, we talked about the addition um, of Speedily. You know, he's been great. Um, you know, and you have Venom, who is a great Tracer player and has shown some nice things on the Hanzo and a couple other heroes now. So, you know, this is a very stacked team. You know, Hawk has been one of the most consistent tank performers all year. Um, so I think that, you know, it's a relatively close match because Florida is, again, they're a good team. But Atlanta is just a bit better right now, so I'll take them in that matchup. Speaking of Gladiators, they now play the Justice. Again, two teams kind of hard to... Kind of hard to predict right now. Um, you know, Gladiators playing Reiner on D.Va for entire maps is a head-scratcher when Space is on your team. You know, Space looks to be back into that, um, you know, just a, uh, a Circuit Royale um, one-trick. You know, only playing the... And, you know, playing great on the Sigma when he does come in. But it looks like it's otherwise it's just Reiner or Bust... Um, you know, they tried to play the Doomfist a little bit, and it's just, it didn't seem like they had an amazing grasp of the meta. You know, New York did play well, and New York is such a talented team, but they're a four-win team. And to go to five with them is, is a little distressing. But the Gladiators looked good in their matches before. You know, they in their first three, they only lost one map, but they were playing wicker competition. So it's like, where do you really place this team? Same thing with Washington, but I'm going to go Gladiators here because... You know, we saw Washington play a very good team in Atlanta last week, and Atlanta just, just slapped them. So, I got them taking a map just because Gladiators have been inconsistent. They've been making some weird choices. You know, I don't think they're super comfortable in this meta yet. Um, you know, I think that there there are teams that are better at the Sombra uh, Tracer, you know, than them. So, I think for Gladiators, they're still trying to really find their niche um, in this meta, but I do think it's still enough to take down the Justice. Dallas Fuel versus Houston Outlaws. We get one last battle for uh, Texas. You know, maybe we'll have another one in the playoffs, but it's not guaranteed. So this is potentially the last one of the season. I got I got Dallas 3 owing. They look really, really good right now. It's a well-oiled machine. You know, like I said, they're for me, Seoul is definitively the best team, and they're definitively the second best team, you know, in this meta. If we had playoffs started with, you know, with this exact meta, I would pick those two to be in the grand finals just at the instantly, and I would be very confident in it. So, you know, Houston have shown some stuff, but their best looks have pretty much always been on the Junker Queen, or even more so, the Doomfist. Both of those characters are not great right now, particularly the Doomfist. 
you know, the the Doomte, it just it it hasn't been great, and I don't think you can you can't be a top tier team if you mainly play Doomfist right now. So what do we see from Houston? You know, Dante's also played on the Diva, and that's been a better look. I assume that's what we're going to see from him. But in the end, Dallas is just stronger to me right now. And it's not particularly close. Vancouver versus Paris is next. So, can Paris get win number two? Can they get rid of the breadstick? Or will Vancouver get their fifth of the season? I'm taking Vancouver. We're going to say three to one. Again, they've been solid. They just haven't quite, you know, they, they've just, they've been that 11th team for me, you know, and, and New York, I just, they're below Vancouver for me just because they have been the definition of anti-clutch this entire season. And Vancouver has had some nice streaks. They just had an awful, awful start, you know, with the first two uh, stages, of course. But right now, you know, they're just playing better than Paris. Paris, you know, they're it's a bunch of guys, you know, who have been added since the since midseason, and while they've, you know, they've had some nice moments here and there, um, you know, they're just guys that are they're trying to play well enough that they get another chance next year. You know, probably on a different team because Paris will probably wipe the slate clean um, as they probably move to Vegas. But in any case, uh, Vancouver a bit stronger right now, so I got them taking it three to one. Matchup of the week right here, Dallas Fuel versus Atlanta Rain. Like I said, we're really going to see what Atlanta's made of right now. Um, I got Dallas 3-1. to one. Again, they just they, they look untouchable to the rest of the West. We will we will see. You know, I think if there's any team to beat them, it would be Atlanta right now. Um, but with Atlanta, we that reverse sweep is just, it's in my mind. Like, yes, they lost. It was a great team that reverse swept them. But San Francisco, they're not a great team in this meta. They're decent. And and that's it. That's all I can give them. They've looked really, really sloppy at times. So I think this is a great match. I would love to see it go to five. But in the end, I do think Dallas is a little bit too good for that right now. Atlanta will take down a map. You know, maybe if they maybe if they take it to Circuit Royale, I could see them, you know, winning with the, with the dominant double snipers. But in the end, it's just too much fuel right now. They are on a roll. And the final match for week number three, you got the Boston Uprising taking on the Los Angeles Gladiators. We're going to take the Glads here. We're going to say 3-0 because why not? You know, they're going to stop doing a little bit of a little bit of trolling. Um, you know, play play as well as we know they can. You know, play to what the, the level that they did in the first couple of weeks. Um, because, honestly, Boston might be their... Either Washington or Boston, you know, we'll see depending on their matchup and a couple of others. But that'll be like the strongest teams they played this stage. You know, they had a really, really tough schedule last stage, a really easy schedule this stage. Um, so in the end, I do have Gladiators uh, pretty much rolling in that one and getting themselves, you know, ready and prepared for playoffs. They still, I don't remember exact, it's, it's close. I believe with San Francisco winning, Gladiators pretty much can't get to two now. Uh, as for seeding wise, they're at three right now. Um, I believe they had a chance if if Shock had lost their last match. Um, but like I said, they're going to want to go into that playoffs with as much momentum as possible. So I think they get it done. So there it is, this week number three predictions done. We only have one more week of the regular season. I say this every single season, but time is has really just flown by. Um, I'm excited to see the matches, you know, we're going to see, you know, can Valiant jump into that number six spot or, or will the East lock in their play in tournament like the uh, West did last week. Um, but that is all from me as always. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the games going down this week, uh, down in the comments. And most importantly, let me know what you're thinking about Overwatch 2. If you played it down in the comments below. Um, but other than that, I hope you all have yourselves an absolutely tremendous weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.